yeah but that is i guess that's that kind of almost darren brown-esque thing where suddenly he plays you back a video of what he was doing earlier and you realize that there was like he told you to turn to page 14 in the newspaper and you just didn't even notice that he said it you're like well how did i miss that yeah but there's there's the perfect example of kind of what we were talking about darren brown because darren it's not about the trick it's never about the trick even though he's giving you explanations and, and, and you know, I've had discussion with people and they go, well, he said he did this. I'm like, mate, he's a magician. <laughs> you know. It's not all the secrets, yeah. We're not going to really tell you how we do it. Um, yeah. But he creates this wonderful ambience. And I used to go and see his show twice, his live yeah. shows. Did you ever see his live shows? I did. I was, I, he was very kind and invited me and, and a friend to a show in Oxford once. And my friend was actually, there was like a moment where they sent out balloons into the audience. And one, and it was like one landed near my feet. And I was like, <gasps> I was like, there's no way I'm going on stage. And I like, as the timer was about to run out, I threw it and it landed in her lap. And, she, and then they were like, everyone stand up with a balloon. <laughs> we were like pushing it back and forth with each other. And eventually she stood up and got selected to go on stage and it was this whole thing where they were like sorting blindfolded sorting blocks that had numbers on and then eventually it made a number and the number was he was trying to guess the number and eventually he had it like the number that was like randomly made up through like 50 balloons went into the audience three people went up and then three people sorted through these blocks randomly and then came up with like a four or five digit number and the number he had the right order of the number that they had come up with on like a huge banner that he unrolled, like after he'd climbed up the side of the stage. It was, it was unbelievable. I was sitting there and I was like, well, again, no idea how that's happened whatsoever, but very impressive. And even more so knowing that someone there, like, because it's easy, I guess, in those circumstances to be like, well, that was a plant or that was this or whatever it might be. But I was like, well, I know that person wasn't a plant. I know they weren't up there trying to, like shimmy that around somehow for him it's so funny i was once called i i, I saw his show i i've seen all his stages i think except for the first one mm. and uh, I, so i used to get go twice once to go be the layman and once to be the magician so that i could just yeah. relax enjoy it and then the next time think about oh how did he do that what's the structure of that how does that work yeah but he's such a good uh performer he's so interesting that you end up sitting there just kind of being drawn into what he's talking about. And for me, it's it's a great lesson in performance as an actor, as in theater, in anything, that he can do a trick where he takes, borrows a coin and puts it in either hand, and the person's on stage betting is it in the left or right hand. And that can entertain 10,000 people or 5,000 people, however many people are in the theater. This thing, this bit of 10 minutes, which is... Is it in my left hand? Is it in my right hand? That's it. Yeah. It, it's not the trick. It's not the trick. It's it's the, what he's building around it. It's Yeah, that's very true. I've never thought of it like that. I sp- yeah, you're seeing it from a very different angle, yeah. But you do get completely caught up in it. Mm. 